Can you believe in this orange puck looking thing is a solution for faster internet? It works on battery, can connect up to 10 devices and works instantly in 130 countries. Well, does it? You see, recently I was put on the spot. We were heading out to London. I needed some connectivity solution and well, a lot of you said I should test this. So I bought one and I did. The results, well, coming up now. Hey, welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadgets, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. Okay, well, so for a bit of context, as you guys know, I work with a lot of YouTube creators around the world and me and my fellow vidIQers heading out to VidCon in London where we had this booth set up, having people coming over, these creators, helping them with their channels. In order for us to do that, we needed connectivity. We had multiple laptops, multiple phones connected, and I needed something that just worked. Now, your usual options are available. You can either use the free Wi-Fi at an event, or you can pay an exorbitant fee to get them to give you connectivity directly at your booth. We all know that free Wi-Fi, eh, kind of dodgy at best, and those fees were, yeah, just not happening. So I needed a solution. A lot of you guys recommended the Solus from Skyroam, which is this puck orange looking thing that I tried. I didn't have a choice, it was a last minute thing, I bought it and we jetted off to London. So how does it work? Well, firstly, when you switch it on, it's got something called a vSIM, a virtual SIM card, and it connects into your local network. It finds the best connectivity that it can in whatever country you happen to be in. It works in 130 plus countries, so you're pretty much sure that if you have a cell phone reception, this is going to work. The obvious question, why not use your cell phone as a hotspot? Well, we all know that the cell phone battery drains really quickly when you use it as a hotspot. When you want to connect multiple devices to it for a very long period of time, it absolutely has an effect on your speed. And then of course your data when you go into national roaming data well that just costs an arm and a leg i wanted a solution that is simple something that i can control something that i can send with any member of the team without technical training and something that simply just works the most important thing i want to control my data why pay for a 12-month subscription fee or 12 months for data packages when you're only going to be using sporadically either when you're traveling local or when you're going international. I want to pay for what I use, and this gives me that option. Right, let's check it out in action. Basically, you switch it on, it creates a local hotspot. You connect to it from your laptop or from your phone, and then you see a bunch of things on the interface. Firstly, it tells you that you're in the United Kingdom, well, whichever country you happen to be in. It gives you the signal strength, how many people are connected, and how much battery you have left. The magic happens when you hit the buy button. Here you have a whole bunch of options. You know, you can choose to have a subscription option. So you can actually use this locally at home or when you travel on a month to month, or you can buy three months or you can buy six months and then it becomes nice and cheap. Or you can use a per gigabyte model, global, USA, Europe, per gigabyte, and you only pay for the data that you actually need to use. And then finally, you have a day pass, unlimited, 24 hours, and it activates it for that period. So let's see how well it actually operates. Here I am running good old speed test, and just to show you that I am connected to the Skyrope, there it is. And now let me fast forward that bit and see how much we get. So already 76.15 download with a 28 millisecond ping and a 28.29 upload. So I can report back that after four days of heavy usage, this device worked absolutely brilliantly. Yes, it did struggle at some times when we moved away from the windows further inside the building. It couldn't get a real good connection, but at most times it worked absolutely fine. So now that I'm back home, what else do you guys want me to test with this? Maybe I should test some gaming and see what the latency on that. Let me know in the comments below. Check out some of these other cool videos about similar topics like faster internet, faster Wi-Fi, and hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in one of those videos, or both. You can go watch both, that's also fine.